what are some of the pros and cons of living in Poncha Springs, Colorado? A lot of people will often start their search nearby Salida, Colorado, and then expand their search to right here in Poncha Springs. So number one pro is the location. Poncha Springs is at the junction of two major highways, Highway 285 and Highway 50. Highway 285 runs north to south from Canada to Mexico, and Highway 50 runs all the way east to west across the United States. This is the only place in the United States where those two highways converge, and it creates a really cool spot where you can go anywhere. So that's number one. But the local attractions, besides that little junction of highway right off of that highway, are things like, of course, Monarch Ski Resort or heading up over Poncha Pass and hitting O'Haver Lake, going up to Marshall Pass, or just going five miles down the road to Salida, Colorado, which has a whole other slew of restaurants, shops, and downtown life. If you're in Poncha, things are a little more spread out and it's a smaller area. So if you want things even quieter, this would be another pro for living in Poncha Springs over anywhere else surrounding it. And then the third pro I would say is that there's a lot of opportunity for growth here. So you're going to probably see more equity gains on property here year over year because it's just starting to boom. One pro I left out, property prices actually are significantly less in Poncha Springs, probably because of the distance from the busy Salida downtown area. If you live in Poncha Springs, you might end up feeling like you're living in a construction zone because there's so much building and development going on. So your neighborhood could have that happening right next door. <laughs> might not be your favorite, but that can't go on forever, right? And then another con I would say is that there's those growing pains are uh, felt all over the infrastructure of the town. So it can be things like road construction, the mail routes, the opportunities to get permits for certain things. That can be a little bit tough because the town is almost growing faster than they have the infrastructure to support. Okay, so one other con that a lot of people notice or think about is the whole county is really bike friendly and get there under your own power type of place. And so if you are in Poncha Springs, it's a good five mile bike ride or walk or jog or whatever you want to use one wheel to get all the way into downtown Salida where the schools all are. Most of the shopping is that direction. So that might deter you from living this way out of town. When you come out here, you might also feel like there's not really like a town center. There sort of is right here, but Poncha doesn't really have like a designated main street and a nightlife like Salida does. There is a lot of restaurants and shops still, but not quite like Salida. So it's a little more rural. There are still places to go though.